It's a beautiful clip. We are live. We're just sorting out something real quick with audio. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Hold on one second. Enjoy Shirley Jones in the meantime. <laughs> I love this new feature. <laughs> Actually, I could just sit and watch. You know, if we could just put on Dimash and watch this, like, I'm happy. That's all we need to do today. Yeah. All right, let me know when you're ready, Johnny. I'm, I'm good. You are? Okay. Good morning, everyone. Morning. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the Throga channel. We need a... I got a haircut. Aw, look at you. You look yeah. like a, a fresh young whippersnapper with your fresh haircut. <laughs> I don't know. I don't the know older either. I get, the more I pull on expressions that my grandfather would have used. <laughs> I, I don't know yep. how that happens. Right, exactly. Uh, good to see how everyone here from around the world, from Kazakhstan, from Croatia, from New York, Cambodia, Canada. Welcome, welcome. So we, we have are, a fun day. We have a very fun day. This is our first time going live with another person with a third person with our new setup we tried that once with taylor mari it crashed big time we have since upped our production value hopefully everything goes smooth today we're excited to have john reeves join us and by the way if you don't know who we are i am richard that and is I'm johnny Johnny. if you're new to the channel and the super thanks already coming in thank you very much appreciate that we Oh, for those of you who don't know who John Reeves is, because I know we announced this earlier in the week that he was going to be here. He's another reactor to Dimash. Uh, he's got a great story that we're going to share with you. And we we found out about him through you guys. So through our subscribers. So like, oh, you got you guys are going to Budapest to see Dimash. You have to go check out John Reeves. He actually got to go see a show in Hong Kong and... There's a story about a rose, so we're finding out about him that way. And I go to his channel, and he's reviewing Pet Tetonics and BTS and One OK Rock. I'm like, all right, he is right up our alley. So it's like yeah. we've got like this symmetry going. He's so, got a great energy too. We just talked briefly before this, and I, I yeah, just yeah, 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 super so positive fun. guy, and that's what we're all about too: spreading the love with music. And so what I'm going to start with actually is a quick one minute short that he put up on i think this is instagram i think youtube as well so it's just like a one minute clip johnny you have not seen this yet about his story regarding dimash so for those of you who haven't seen this let's check this out and then we will bring him in yes dude give him all of the flowers give this man more flowers dude yes <laughs> i freaking love this Okay, so I have a rose. I'm gonna be trying to bring this to Dimash. I'm not exactly positive that I'm gonna be able to or not. I know a lot of people bring like massive bouquets of flowers and stuff, but Thank you, Chris. I couldn't find a huge bouquet of roses on such short notice. I found a lady that was selling individual roses and I was like, let's do it. Just the thought that counts, okay? I wanna give Dimash a rose, so cool is that so cool and without further ado let's bring him Yo. in good morning john good morning how are y'all doing today uh we're doing great thanks for joining us thank you what that a crazy up. little journey you went on and it's and <laughs> even more insane how there's just some symmetry as to what's happening with us right this started yeah. with the deers encouraging this can you tell us fill us in just a little bit more on what happened yeah, well, honestly, even rewatching that, I'm like, I even got a little bit of nerves just even watching it. I was like, oh gosh, I'm about to go up. Oh gosh, like it was <laughs> like a, it was such a an amazing concert. Like before the concert, meeting up with Deers. So please, if there is, I'm sure there's a Budapest meetup 
like meeting people before was amazing. There's so many deers that will know y'all even at the at the meetup. I was surprised. I was like, nobody's gonna know me here, and right. uh, I just showed up. And I mean, everybody was like, John. So a lot of pictures. It was just it was a full experience. It was very very yeah. fun. That's definitely one of the things we're looking forward to most is just meeting up with everybody. I think there's going to be quite a few of them. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And we're trying to organize something in addition. So there, there is a pre-party, the Budapest pre-party, mm -hmm. which we're going to be at. Uh, so everybody mm -hmm. there, we're going to meet, but also we're going to do like our own thing, like a couple hours before the concert within walking yeah, distance yeah. of the concert. And we're going to announce mm -hmm. all that. And yeah, we just mm -hmm. want to like selfies and hugs and yeah. love and all that stuff. It's going to be oh, so man, much it'll fun. Be so fun. So. Yeah yeah, 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 and uh, whew, honestly too. So, how long are y'all going to be staying there? Uh, well, we're going like to Munich oh, first no. for a couple right. days, and then we're only there in Budapest from the third to morning of the sixth. So, we're going to have two full days and a few nights. Mm -hmm. So, hopefully, we can experience just more of the yeah. culture because that's part of the the fun of, of it all, of course. Yeah, yeah. And um, I saw on yours, you're big on like like because I saw a lot of clips. Uh, just scan it through your stuff on food, right? Like trying. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'm <laughs> such a ramen person too. So everywhere <laughs> I've gone, I'm like, I wonder what the local ramen tastes like. And <laughs> it was really good in Hong Kong for sure. Whenever I went, uh, probably some of the best ramen ever, but some of my little travel food adventures, the ramen has been <laughs> an experience. <laughs> so awesome. Real, it's been real quick guys. Uh, are we having some issues with sound? Some people oh, are can't we? hear John. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm hearing him come through pretty clean let me make sure we got we did have some Check. audio issues some people are saying no sound some people are saying he's only coming in on one side some only people are saying he's speaking fine oh if it's only on one side then it might cut out on some people not realizing that. right so we want to make sure it's oh, down yeah. the center johnny uh say something real quick check check, check. hello so check. i see your dominant on the left side for some reason left side dominant makes sense Makes sense. I'm left handed. It all makes sense. There you sense go. Now. Okay, there it is. Yeah. So <laughs> your voice is more ambidextrous here. <laughs> I'm here. So he, you're definitely there. So maybe uh, switch earbuds oh, yeah. or whatever if you're having trouble uh, hearing him. And Janet, thank you for the, the super Jeez. thanks. And uh, my kacha, too. Yes, thank you for the coffee very much. So I see May in the chat, too. May, how's it going? Oh, we had that's what's crazy. We have so many like. Yeah, uh, yeah, crossover just, people. Yeah. Crossover. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. trying to phrase that. So that that's that's what made this so much fun. And when we announced you there, everyone's like, J just flooded. Like John's going to be there. It's yes, like, heck yeah. like we didn't. Well, that's how I know I'm in good company, man. Because like I, the community is just so loving and such awesome, supportive people. Like I don't know. Just yeah, they really their, are. Their, uh, their stamp of approval means everything. So absolutely, one big family. So we're gonna mm -hmm. react to a song today. Uh, the love mm -hmm. of tired swan so I, I reached out to john and asked if he was up for doing this and he was just mm -hmm. all over it right away and and i asked him which song we should do this is something you've already heard i mean you went and saw mm -hmm. him live too so this was john's pick for one of the songs that we haven't heard yet so we're excited to, one of to my hear this as well man. and this yeah. shirt is also john's pick without me oh. even knowing it i yeah. just had a feeling so before we started john's like yeah. oh the, the shirt and I've yes. only worn this shirt five times. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Well, it is literally one of my favorite movies ever. I, I've written songs about it. I love just the scenery and the movie itself. I don't know why I'm All so right. obsessed Let me ask you a yeah. really important question, John. Right, have me. you seen Christmas Chronicles? <laughs> I have, yeah. With uh, with Dude, yeah. I yeah, think okay. Only, only All right, passing. he's... You are far more well-rounded than my throat oh. partner, Johnny. He, he keeps holding that over my head, <laughs> making it seem like that movie is on par with the classic movie that is the thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of monster in there. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen the thing, so that's and he hasn't seen Christmas Chronicle, so that's, oh, oh. that's our long-standing issue that we have. Y'all got to get together, have a movie night. We got to make this happen. I think that needs to happen. Actually, that would be fun. Can we do a reaction to the thing? And I haven't seen it yet. Is it scary? I will be in chat. I will be in chat. Uh, I, it's not scary. super scary. It's more like <laughs> sci-fi scary. All right. Yeah. You know, it's more like a. I I don't know that I've ever found monster movies scary. So I don't know. That's a that's a good question. Though. You know, the only mm. thing scary I'll watch is vampire related. Mm. Connecting to earlier this week, yes. how insane was that release of Dimash's? <laughs> 
I'm still like trying to process how awesome that video was. His videos are so good. And then his voice there, I would love to both of y'all being vocal teachers. I would love to just get y'all's opinion on how he's doing some of those things, especially a lot of the, like kind of the grit that he puts in his voice, mm -hmm. the distortion that he adds. Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah cause that sec. How does that second verse go? It's like da da. It yeah, had like that. Like, a man like, in a man's all those world, overtones. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's just like it's so, so good. many cool tones that that he just brings yeah. in there, which is just he amazing. He makes like th was it three vocal tracks there? I think something like that, maybe in that. It's Possibly if he put a little bit of a whisper more. into it, but there's definitely two. So he had like mm -hmm. more of a pure tone, and then he did the grit, which which had like true and false folds at the same time. That was like mm -hmm. the dominant one, but he yeah. might have had like a whisper layer or something in yeah. there too. Yeah. Mm. Ah, so yeah. beautiful. I love it that was, so much. It was yeah, we can I got chills. We can nerd out over any thirty <laughs> second period in any song <laughs> that he yes. does. That's the yes. fun of it. Well, for sure. One thing that I've been wanting to do, because a lot of people ask me, he sang this song live in Hong Kong. And a lot yes. of people have been like, You've heard this song before live. I did not go back and watch the live performance of it. A lot of people were asking me to, and I was like, I'm probably going to end up reacting to it in the future. And people were telling me that there might be a music video for it. And I was like, I want to listen to it with fresh ears. But at the concert, right. there was just so much emotion, so much energy going on. I remember the song, but I couldn't tell you that he did that distortion part in there. You know what I mean? There's like a lot of little things that I couldn't tell you that he did. It's a long show. Did, does he do like 20 some songs? Um, and again, it was, it felt <laughs> like it was only a few seconds. I was gone <laughs> too enough. soon. I was like, oh, I've, and it's weird. I've been to hundreds, if not thousands of concerts. And that one right. was one that still feels kind of like a dream state. It's weird. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah and with that be rose. It's a different and, experience what, being there live, man, with that vibration hitting you. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, for warmth. sure. You know, we, oh, we can't man. wait for that. And, and just tying with the rose real quick too. It mm -hmm. was the, you said this was the he said this is the first time I that a, that I a guy know came that up until and like rose? later on the night everybody was like you're the first man to give him a rose I was like are you serious how, how is, is this possible because <laughs> anytime I've seen those video like I the reason that it threw me off so much is I'm like a metal fan and I've never seen people giving rose at a concert and so I was like and then not only was he getting one bouquet it was like he couldn't even hold them all there were so many bouquets of flowers that he had and i was like i'm just blown away by how many flowers he was getting so i thought it was funny yeah. and uh, and then also just awesome i was like i love that he's doing this and i found out that he gave the roses away after concerts to different places oh that's and so it was cool. like all these cool things about the rose and then i was like uh if i go i'm definitely going to bring him a rose in some sort and I had a sponsorship, like the clothing sponsorship was going to be paying for us to get out there. And because just a little bit of backstory, I was in Japan for a travel vlog. Right. And it was something that I like, we did a lot of like fundraising for, and there was a few concerts that I was going out to Japan for, and it was in November. And a lot of people were saying, well, you're out there. You should go see Dimash, but it's all the way in December and, uh, in like right before Christmas. And I was like, there's no way, you know, I'm just like this, I have full-time job outside of YouTube and sure, singing sure. and all these things. So like, there's no way I could feasibly make this possible. And, um, enough people asked me like, seriously, probably like in the hundreds of people DM me and they were like, are you going to go to this concert? I see you're in Japan. And I'm like, let's see if we can make it happen. So maybe like 10 days before the concert, I had a uh, sponsorship that I was working with already anyways. We were working on another travel vlog, and I was like, I've got this one coming up in Hong Kong. Would y'all be interested? Here's the budget for it. And they're like, sure. And so <laughs> I uh, everything seemed good until like four or five days before. I was like, hey, I'm going to need to buy my plane ticket out there. Uh, are we good on this? And he was like, we thought it was for next year. We've already spent our marketing. Oh, no. I was like, no. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we ended up uh, – I have – um, our Patreon, so our Patreon helped. We I have a Patreon member, Jamie. Huge shout out to Jamie. Helped us get out there as well too. And then I ended up uh, comping like the tickets and stuff like that, and threw it all on credit cards. I was like, "We're going. I got to make this happen." <laughs> but um, but it was really it was it was such an experience, man. That's something that I'll never forget. It's a beautiful, beautiful concert. Uh, yeah, we, we can't, can't wait. Wait for that. We can't wait. 
And quick uh, thank you to Dear in Love for, for your super thanks as well. And, that, and same thing for us. We had, you know, Andy, shout out to Andy, hooked us up with flights. We're like, okay, well, we have to go now. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. And then the Deers have just come in and, and just, like, helped make the rest of the, the trip possible, you know, because, mm-hmm. you know, the tickets, the ground transportation, mm-hmm. and, oh all those, you know, yeah. just that everything adds up so fast. So it's just mm-hmm. been it's just been an amazing thing. Um, I do want to jump into the song. By the way, yeah. just you and I have we we are uh, kindred spirits in metal. That was um, I'm yes. '90s metal, you know, from yes. the Metallica to the Dream Theater thing. What, what, oh my gosh! What, what yes, are you into? It. What's your vibe? Well, definitely like a little. I guess like you're. That I'm inspired everybody that I listen to. <laughs> so, but in so in saying that, I definitely listen to Metallica as well. I'll show you a picture, like maybe even after this. But it's it's something really cool that uh, somebody sent me a Metallica picture. But so very much into like trivium kind of uh, okay. um uh periphery different bands like that just cool. kind of trivium got from you. metallica that got me started in the metal and then periphery for sure like just his vocals the way that he does things and then now just there's almost too many to count there's so many different bands there's, there's so I'm many really, yeah 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 and yeah. we haven't really gotten yeah. to react to them yet but do you know the band yeah. new year's day john what was that do you know the band new year's day <clears throat> i've heard of them yeah yeah, they just came out with their new record. I actually have two songs on their new record that just came out. I didn't know that. Like, yeah. yeah. Nice. You wrote them? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I wrote them, yeah. Oh, my That's so awesome. Check it out. New Year's Day, I wrote Bulletproof and uh, Enemy. <clears throat> I'm writing the... Well, Enemy, yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, I'm putting that All right, down. I need to check them out, too. You know, maybe John and I, you and I, can go... Without Johnny, we can go react to reaction. those songs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that sounds yes. good. That, that sounds awesome. good. We'll rip apart, uh, you know, everything. Nice. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Why did he go to this <laughs> note, not to this one right here? Yeah, you well, guys uh, can listen to your metal stuff. I will listen to the Carpenters. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. Well, uh, in writing, did you do, like, wh- what type of stuff did you do um, in writing for that? Did you do, like, vocal harmonies? Uh... Oh, so uh, mainly when I write, it's it's uh, chords and melody, you know, mm-hmm. and, and lyrics. So Okay, very cool. Yeah. So yeah, like the producers unless you're produce producing the, song the track, then you get into like the layers of the harmonies. Yeah, when mm-hmm. I'm producing, yeah. I do arrangements and and all that stuff and the harmonies. That's awesome. And play a lot of the yeah. instruments. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. cool. All awesome. right. So without further ado, thank uh, thank you guys for for hanging in. We just we had to chat. We this first time yes. for, the, for those yeah. of you just joining. We have a lot more people here. This is our first time hanging out with John. Um, so we're getting to know each other a little bit. But we do have a reaction. Of course, we're doing the love of tired swans. And oh, before and, we get into that, <laughs> real quick, and Art, Art had a nice little comment. Since it's morning, John Johnny's favorite time of the day. It's not. <laughs> Can we call this live stream "Love of Tired Swans and Tired Johnny"? <laughs> Can it be the love of Tired Johns as well? <laughs> at like John. four o'clock last night. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I'm 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 known as the tired one. Richard's known as the emotional one. So yeah, that's nice. that's, that's yes. our thing. We all have our <clears throat> labels, I guess. <laughs> before we jump in john johnny do you have something to say yes please everybody out there <laughs> hit like and subscribe and ring that bell we appreciate that and also be sure to check out the links below we of course have one for john reeves to go check out his channel we also encourage you to check out buy me a coffee there's a link there where you can become a, a thronely member silver gold or diamond with extra perks that you can check out we appreciate that and you can also get a free vocal assessment at throga.com to learn more about your voice for singing and songwriting and all that jazz let's begin hi bridget Bri- wait a minute you can't just say Bridget's name without her song. Bridget, Bridget. Bridget works with us and Brigitte. The, yeah. Brigitte, which we I'm sure we're saying wrong, which we have many times, reminded us of the baguette from Maurice from Beauty and the Beast. So, you know, it's all it's all connected. <laughs> she has her own song. Inside joke, it works well though. It works well. That's Somehow awesome. connected. Totally works. Yes, yes, I love it. I love how like Somebody's I don't know if it's a musician thing, but our break. You've got, ah, I have a gong. I have our subscribers, but... our subscribers bought Johnny that because because yeah. his studio was so ill-equipped. Oh. <laughs> Somebody just asked well, where the bell is, so here it is. Listen, you can't you can't have a studio a proper studio without a gong of some kind. Like I couldn't agree more. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Could not agree more. All right, here we go. So this is The Love of Tired Swans. 
Uh, this is the uh, live in Kremlin. So this is so this is with Igor uh, Krutoy as uh, playing on piano. Um, oh, I'm assuming he co-wrote this uh, or or wrote it because usually Igor does not the lyrics but the music, from my understanding, mm -hmm. for, for the most part. Um, dedicated to the Day of the Workers of the Ministry of Eternal Affairs of the Russian Federation, which took place in Kremlin in Moscow. So that's what we're checking out. So, and thank you very much, Linda Jones. We appreciate your super thanks. Here we go. Mash Kudaibergen. Под ваши аплодисменты. Посмотри не в глаза, ты прости мне, я сожалею, я люблю тебя, жизнь моя без тепла, я тобой болею, удержать. Смогли, мы устали, нам очень трудно, я совсем один, ты пойми, без любви ничего не нужно, не могу жить в разлуке. Quick pause. I, I try not to interrupt this too much. <laughs> it's beautiful melody. I mean, obviously it, it's Dimash, right? So it's hard not to anticipate at least another octave as the song builds. And But mm -hmm. as we've said many times, it's like, and I'm sure you have too, John, even if he doesn't, right? It's the quality of the songwriting, the story, the tone, yeah. his connection to the lyrics. It's mm -hmm. like you yep. never need it, but I'm excited to hear it when it comes, you know? And Igor, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Igor is the main composer on this, I think I saw. Is I that the so. case, guys? Yeah. I love that scale that's in. What yeah, is so, it? I think uh, A minor, yeah. This one's A minor, A minor. that's in so, now? So, again, this is He's... a range that's... Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so there's, I know there's a little there. delay between... Um, when we have... For whatever reason, when we have a guest, there's always a little more of a delay in, in just the, the, the feed. So uh, sorry right. for, if we talk over you, we apologize. Just keep talking. Eventually, oh. we'll shut up. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> cool, cool. Man, one thing that always like really stands out to me in that is his delivery of the way that he says my love in the first part of that song. Mm. Like everything's so sorrowful and he puts so much emotion into it. And then whenever mm -hmm. he says my love, it's like changes the way that he says it. So it's like a reminiscent of like just him. I don't know, like a little brief moment of joy, you know. Well, with with tired swans, with, with this tie, obviously they have, you know, to talk referencing the animals specifically, even in, mm -hmm. in the visual display. It's swans are, from my understanding, similar to like penguins. It's usually like that lifelong mate. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. and like so, soulmate type thing. Yeah. So it's like having that that human. Uh, just that imagery with with the human relationship of like the yeah. loss of somebody for whatever reason, and then just you know I don't know swimming on your own and looking back is that I mean is that kind of what the song's about? I think so. From my understanding, I believe so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I do, I am looking at the, the chat and I'm seeing a lot of people are asking for the music video. So just so you know, <laughs> we chose this one because prior to doing this this was the most requested this particular version and we love seeing Dimash live yeah. but if John is willing to stay awake a little bit longer we're happy to do that one too okay hey, so I'm here for you, man. all right perfect so we'll watch the music video right after this too okay so we got you I do have cool. one question for y'all so as um, a vocal like live performer in vocals and I've done a lot of stuff with rock so this is a lot more controlled from most anything I've ever done 
But the way that he starts his notes without really – I've never heard him overshoot, ever. <laughs> and it shows so much control, especially with some of these first notes that he's hitting. What is y'all's take on that? Like, is it just repetition or like – because I would be caught up in emotions and stuff. What do y'all well, think? Well, I think having a great performance is a balance between an emotional delivery and mm-hmm. skill set, right? Because yeah. if you're overrun by emotions, like if you hear somebody sing it like a – you know, a fru- funeral or something like that. Yeah, it's yeah. just It just hijacks your respiratory mm-hmm. system and your nervous system, mm-hmm. and yeah. you can get really pitchy and things like that. Mm-hmm. So the skills, if you're very skilled, mm-hmm. that can run on autopilot while that's you can true. focus on the emotion. And so that's kind of the goal I, I, oh, I'm i always having my artist aim for. And that's in any genre, right? That mm-hmm. That's metal, jazz, blues, opera, everything. Yeah. Right? You want to have this skill set autopilot, so you can mm-hmm. focus on the story. Because if you're mm-hmm. just, okay, here's the note, here's the note, here's, if you're just looking at mm-hmm. that, now your brain is, you're conscious of the skill and you're not allowing your unconscious mind to experience the meaning of the song. So true. Yeah. So the artists that <clears throat> the three of us love are the ones that are pretty good at balancing that. They allow the autopilot yeah. to run while they focus on the story those to me are my favorite singers some people just have ice in their veins too you know they just they don't get (laughs) nervous and they just the 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 moment's never too big for them and yeah because i mean obviously we all know that you know as as singers we're all singers and you know our instrument is our body so if our body's nervous Mm -hmm. and our emotions are nervous that's going to reflect in our in our voice which can add something beautiful too obviously Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah but i've I've never seen him not like completely just in the moment and and totally calm and just present yeah. you know I've never... i would love to see a before show uh something of him like i'm not sure that i really ever have seen that i would love to see what his pre-show looks like mm. is he quiet is he like very energetic i would love That's to see what that question. looks like i'm not sure yeah if you guys know if there's any footage of that that could be really interesting yeah. does he go in like a meditative state or is there is he backstage yeah. doing push-ups you're know, like people have yeah, different that was ways me. yeah yeah. yeah, and people have kind of been ch- chiming in with like certain elements of his, you know, of his personality because we always talk about how deep he is and like he's just got this, this sort of seriousness. And people are like he's actually a goofball in real mm-hmm. life, you know, which is cool. It's a cool, a cool balance. Yeah, yeah. Going back real quick to I'm gonna keep playing the song, obviously, but these moments where you're saying he doesn't overshoot on those low notes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so he's a Those moments, mm-hmm. which is where he starts mm-hmm. the song with, right? Mm-hmm. He's got a mm-hmm. blend between vocal fry and pure tone. So pure yeah. tone, if he was doing like the A, you said A minor, right? So I guess the right note. <laughs> I, I do not yeah. have. <laughs> He's going down to the. Oh, like that, uh, what is e, that? Um, e2. E? So, uh, so getting the folds to vibrate that slow, because lower notes are slower vibration, higher notes are mm-hmm. faster vibration. Oh, uh, right there. But he has a little bit of a fry mixed in with it. So vocal yeah. fry is when there's an underwhelming of air pressure. So the folds have an irregular vibration with it. So you have to be pretty chill. Going yeah. back to what we were saying to have that da 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 da. Because it's so easy to just skirt right mm-hmm. past it and go sharp. Mm. And yeah. that comes back to just his comfort. And I'm pretty sure it's not, in this case, ice in the veins. <laughs> He's one of yeah. the most you know, humanitarian driven people that, that that we've seen <laughs> yeah. yeah um real, uh, uh, so it says here he, he prefers to stay silent silent 24 hours before each concert so oh wow that's cool yeah that's that, that makes dedication. it even i don't i i would wonder for myself it would allow those emotions to build if i'm not mm. talking but you can maybe even get in the zen type state maybe it could also be a bit of a, a, st- a strategy for just vocal rest right just yeah. letting everything oh, yeah. just kind of shut down and then moving through but he might be quiet with his voice but i am still curious how physically active he is because there's still yeah. like the body still has mm, to put out true. energy as well uh, yeah. by the way subtitles will appear um probably a couple hours after this is live we're, we're, we'll have them We'll have AI do that for us so you don't have to wait 24 hours. We're, we have a new strategy for that now. <laughs> I'm um, also sure he, he probably is very cognizant of taking care of his body, too. I mean, he's just mm. he looks like he's in good shape, so that, that all plays. It does, yeah. yes. And also thank you, um, uh, Dina and Linda Jones and Family Van 
Lord. I'm sure I'm saying you're wrong. My apologies. Hugs back to you. We appreciate the super thanks. Um, okay, cool. Let's keep going here. We got lots more. It almost sounds like a duet, yeah. yeah. We see this in so many of his songs with, with, with uh. that. It's not just the change of his tones. It is still, you know, identifiably Dimash. He's got like that, you know, consistency of that, like that thumbprint, you know what I mean? That mm -hmm. kind of pull him out of anywhere. But his overtones and just the way he mix and matches things, not just with registers, but with breathiness and vocal fry, all, all that stuff. But then what, what you were just saying, Johnny, is... There's also, in a lot of Igor's music and pieces that he chooses to sing, even in his originals, he evolves the chord progression. He's changing keys. There's there's this movement musically that Which is subliminal so to most people, but it, it, it comes true and they feel it without knowing it. Um, yeah, because he's like... Or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then it goes to... So it's in A minor, and then it goes... Da -da -da. So it's just that little change, and it's like has a little bit of a positive spin there. So it just takes the song in a different direction. So there's all this stuff happening, which just captivates the listener the whole time. Yeah, you're never did bored. Notice, <laughs> yeah. Did y'all notice, too, whenever that was happening, Dimash started rocking back and started getting a lot more physical with his approach and then really starts letting it out? Like, just, that was, mm. I don't know. I'm wondering yeah. how, like, uh, I guess how, like, practiced he is in that or if that's just the thing where, like, his just emotions that, were coming yeah. over. Yeah. Well, right. and I think that's part of his... Obviously, his stage delivery in his, you know, mm -hmm. where he feels comfortable, but it's the, I think that's also, he's letting his body tell, tell the story emotionally, mm -hmm. right? So he's really good visual storyteller as well. Very it's good. not, it's not just, because sometimes we see singers that could be are kind of dull physically and they do mm -hmm. everything internally, which is still mm -hmm. amazing, right? That's an mm -hmm. art form in itself, but he just allows just every cell in his body to just, yeah move and, and connect and i think that yeah. a lot of that is unconscious i would imagine mm -hmm. yeah I, I would say it's a perfect balance of a cultivated stage presence plus also just a hundred percent embodying what he's what he's saying yeah and it's yeah. you know he's just that he just meets so perfectly yeah, those yeah. Two things. i think oh, like yeah. what you said about letting his skill go kind of on uh like not in a, not autopilot in a bad way but like letting it kind of just take over like skill just and then emotion is the forefront. I think that makes so much more sense now, especially after just seeing him do some of the really uh, just big moments that he has in concerts, just how much emotion he can, can put into his physical performance. Mm. And then his mm -hmm. just vocal delivery is perfect every time. It's, so it's, just... it's permission, right? It's just yeah. consciously allowing that part of the brain. Because I always see it as three parts of the brain are always fighting for attention for a performer. Mm -hmm. You've got your conscious mind, so that's what, okay, mm -hmm. 
this stand here, do this song next. That's, you know, what you're thinking. You got mm. your subconscious mind. That's the autopilot training. So that's the, you know, your ability to do the notes that you want to do, your ability to move through registers, all that is the years of training. And then your mm. unconscious is your limbic system. That's your emotional side. Mm. So when you're training, I always have singers use the consciousness to train your subconscious and leave feelings mm. out of it. It's like this this is a mechanical approach. That's the, my, my yeah. vocal gym approach, right? But when we're singing, we dim the lights on the conscious effort and that's mm. when we allow the unconscious to come in. But so the subconscious is always active in our training as well as our performance. So there's a transition that takes place there. And yeah. some are masters of that art, which we've yeah, it's kind seen. Of, it's yeah. kind of like the, you know, a master jazz musician will say, you know, you learn all the rules and then once you learn all the rules, you throw them out. <laughs> you yeah. Know? Yeah. Completely yeah, break so them. True. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you again for the super thanks. Or So Dempfi, D-Y-M-P-H-I, am I saying that right? Dempfi? So, I like how you simplified it for me and I still can't say it right. That's why I'm John, not supposed to be in charge of this. <laughs> John, are you are you are you better at pronouncing things than Richard? I would hope no. so because oh my everyone gosh. is. <laughs> I am uh I can not only not read I don't think I can read English, guys. If we're being honest, I think I, I learned in Nashville and uh and I'm not great at reading, okay? All right, I'll, I'll put you both on my back. I'll do it. I gotcha. <laughs> I'm good at the every good boy does fine. I think that's about there as good go. as I go with reading. And then the rest of it's just like, eh, I don't know what those words mean. So I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Ann. There's that A major. There's that A major. Congratulations to E minor. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, oh my God. God. amazing so have y'all ever seen i i before dimash i really have not checked out a whole lot of operatic vocalists or people that would be considered in that genre but do you see that often where they do get on their knees and like really such a physical performance like that not an opera no they're usually pretty static yeah <laughs> yeah that's what <laughs> i was missionary. thinking that's like just was my assumption i guess but it's, it's I think more stoic thing... I, I mean if they're acting yeah. out a character and there's like certain blocking or choreography that does that mm -hmm. because it's usually character based right but for him yeah. he crosses lines with artistry versus character right yes. so if you're if you're mm -hmm. singing opera usually it's a, a segment from a greater storyline and mm -hmm. so you're embodying that character so if the character okay. would go on their knees that would make sense right mm -hmm. otherwise I mean, they generally don't and some of that has to do with breathing techniques and things like that based on mm -hmm. alexander technique and bel canto but mm -hmm. when you have an artist mindset when you're thinking outside of that box 
it's like he's having this operatic tones, but then yeah. allowing himself to express it through, yeah, you know, more of a contemporary style, which is what makes it so interesting. It's this one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, love yeah. the song too. It's, it's got to be so fun to to write for somebody like that, you know. For me as a writer, I mean, when I work with you know mere mortal singers, great singers, but <laughs> still human. Uh, you know, I try to keep it within an octave to an octave and a half, you know, and you don't want to make the jumps too big. And then when I look at this song, like, and this isn't even like the the hugest range he's ever done, but it's still so super impressive. You know, he's you know he's got that that opening line, and then he jumps a major seventh. Da, da, da. He goes to that high B, and then later on in the song, they have they modulated a whole fifth to an E minor, and like you have to you kind of have to do that to to really like cater to his his range you know to really like get the extent of it like right you, you have well, to have it, modulations in the songs yeah mm. go well, ahead it, oh, if it, you're it, writing for somebody like that like there was a part from the first to the second verse it's it almost seemed like it was two different vocalists like i think i even like i think we were all thinking that it's like he sounds like another vocalist is happening here how would you write for something like that? Would you write like for another vocalist in that part? What would you, you basically do? take all of yeah. the parameters and expectation of a mindset of writing for one person and mm. you throw them away. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I, I have written duets before and it's a, it's a different way of looking at writing because you mm -hmm. have to keep it. You have to keep in mind the ranges of a male vocalist and a female vocalist. And it's like, yeah. when you have somebody that does both and more and like you know, animal range. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And non-human range. Basically, take to take the the creative cap is off in in a sense. You mm -hmm. know, but and you still want to serve this song, and I think that's something we've talked about many times with Dimash and his mm -hmm. ability mm -hmm. to do that. Where it's just because you can doesn't mean you should. Mm -hmm. But it's hard not to if you've got you know eight gears to play with. It's hard yeah. not to want to spend a little time in each one. So I'm sure it's tempting. But if it's, he always feels connected regardless. Mm -hmm. Oh, I will say that's one thing that really surprised me about him as a vocalist. Because you you said before, well, on the podcast, you said that you're a fan of, uh, like, Russian, did you say Dream Theater? Are you a fan of Dream uh, Theater, bands yeah. like that? So a lot of the times, I love both bands, by the way, but they get into these grooves sometimes where it's hard for just the average music listener that's not a musician in some ways right. to really keep up with what they're doing. And I think Dimash very much has the capability of doing that, but he allows it to where anybody, if you just like music uh, and you're not a player or something, you can get into the groove that he's getting into and hum along, if not like for sure sing along. But you know what I mean? Or it's whistle. Catchy. <laughs> yeah, it's, or just uh, whistle yes. along with a higher melody. <laughs> yes. But Absolutely. it's always like catchy enough. You know what I mean? It's like, I think that's one it's thing accessible. that you very good. Yes, it's successful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and on the other side of that too, like listening to the last song that we heard, the, his new single, and mm -hmm. that is probably one of the more like commercial songs that mm -hmm. he's got. The and most commenting, like, yeah. Um, and even even that one, like he, you know, he could have like totally played it safe and been in the box, but he he goes outside the box and he makes yeah. it interesting for, you know, the the nerds, the music nerds yeah. out there that love that stuff. Yeah. It it's got to be so hard to cater to both parties. I think he's not trying to do that, but it's something that he so perfectly does because we can sit here and probably dissect his new song. Like we were talking about line by line, just take it <laughs> however long it goes, you know, but, uh, so much. and then also people can just really admire it and appreciate it and sing along to it. So it's really cool that he captured both of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. And like you said, I think it is totally authentic, which people, I think, they react to whether they know it or not i think people like something that's real you know yeah they yeah. can sense is real mm -hmm. coming from a real place <laughs> so Man. shifting gears here a little bit first of all thank you elaine for the the coffee and thank you we have a new gold thronely uh wessel i believe is if i'm saying the name correct i'll, I'll give it to you john so you could try <laughs> oh gosh oh <laughs> <laughs> W E A S L E. Wesley. Nope. I always throw in extra letters. I don't even. <laughs> Web? Wesley? I, I feel so much better about myself right now. Wait, W E A S L. <laughs> uh, I'm more Ron of an Weasley. audible reader. You know what I mean? I can. Uh, 
I, I can feel pronounce you. it after. I feel you. you on that. <laughs> no, but thank you for that. And by the way, uh, with and I'm sure this is the same for you, John, too. With uh, like, because you use Patreon, I think for mm-hmm. subscribers, right? So we're using Buy Me a Coffee, and it's in the super thanks are always appreciated. Uh, just so you know, when you do donate, uh, YouTube. Uh, yeah. takes 30%, gives us 70%, which which has its value because they're giving us a platform to do what we do and connect with you all. So we're not dismissing mm-hmm. that. But if you do plan on buying two, three coffees, that kind of thing with more money going through that platform, more of it does come to uh, the reactors in hand. And I'm sure mm-hmm. it's the same situation with, with Patreon as well. So yeah. just so you guys are informed when, when you do donate to anybody, um, if they have their own platform, that's usually a better way to, to support that uh, community. Mm-hmm. So, so Weasley, Weasley, like uh, Weasley. Oh, well, that just makes more sense. <laughs> it sounds cool too. I love the way that it's spelled. It does. Well, oh, John, are you aware? Theme. By the way, Richard mentioned our, the Throne Leaves. That's that's our, our our fan group. I guess. Do you, do you know the origin of that name? No, I don't. No, I, I've been curious though. I've been curious. Well, let, let me let me um let me run you back there. So I. <laughs> Which I thought it was a genius idea. Wanted to combine Droga and OnlyFans. <laughs> for OnlyFans. So for a while, our fans were known as the Throne fans, but apparently it was it was brought to our and attention. And I'm just that, an idiot. I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, that's fun. Like, I didn't even. I've never heard of. Them. <laughs> I, was, I was so proud yes. of myself. I'm like Throne fans. It's genius. Yeah. And yeah. then and then it was brought to our attention that if you Google if you Throne Google fans, that. Uh, it takes you to some naughty websites. So it's it's thronely only. <laughs> thronely <laughs> only. Okay, there yes. it that works. It works. Don't look up thronely fans, people out there. Yes. All right. Uh, I like did Google. notice too. Uh, someone said again they were having trouble hearing John. I, I apologize for that. We definitely hear him. For some reason, it's going. Uh, the audio's shifting to to more of a mm. left side. I don't know why. It's down the the center, from what I could tell. Um, mm-hmm. So just you know, switch earbuds or put it on speaker, something like that. You should be able to hear them fine. And we'll have the this will all be replayable as well uh, with subtitles will be added. So to the left, to the left. Okay. Do I have the right one? This is the music video for "Love of Tired Swans." This is off his website. I'm gonna do the mm-hmm. thirty trans thirty percent transparency just to make sure we don't. Yeah, get I was gonna say trouble. I'm not sure that YouTube won't kick this off. That would be the only reason that would be like I don't know, but I yeah I did do a reaction to this video and. It is something you're like in for an experience. All for right. Sure. Awesome. Well, that's what we're here for. Let's do it. very frustrating for people to watch um, because you can't see the image. I mean, this is full-on movie again because that's what he does. It's like a film in five minutes. Mm-hmm. Just the yeah. cinematography is insane. Please go watch the original. We'll add this to the description below so there'll be a link 
um, added to the description. So if you haven't seen this, go watch it. Uh, this is already incredible, and I, I know Johnny, you you can't even you're seeing what everybody else is. So you're missing a lot of the subtleties yeah. that's yep. here. Uh, it's. I'm it's, guessing most of the people on this chat probably have seen this. I, th I think by and large they may have seen it I before. So. <laughs> but we have to do it this way just out of respect to, to the copyright. And then, I mean, the monetization still goes to Dimash and his team mm. unless they mm. you know, share revenue or something like that, uh, which happened for the first time for us ever this week uh, with Dimash, which, which was exciting. Um, uh, that they did that with... Um, I'll, when I've got you, that's the title, right? Mm. <laughs> so, but typically, you know, we want to be respectful of that. So go watch it there uh, to see what's happening. So, and also just to let anybody know, I pretty positive. I can't remember which video it was, but one video I do live reactions sometimes on YouTube, and it, you'll get pulled down so quick. So the whole stream will just crash. Yeah, and then if, nobody if can watch it after. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. yeah. So <clears throat> yeah, we want people who weren't here today able to watch it later. Mm -hmm. stop things because there's there's never ever a good place to stop there, i know <laughs> it really is. doesn't exist right like we get we get in trouble if you don't stop at all because it's supposed to be a reaction mm -hmm. but it's so easy to overstop and then people get frustrated it's, a fine line. it's so hard to there's find so many times in a song where you're just like i can't believe he did that and then you're like well he's doing something else that's really cool and it's like <laughs> where it just is a snowball effect yes yes when can i actually stop this song it, it's it's interesting that we watch the live first because when typically you might hear it, experience it the other way around, mm -hmm. right? You see the music mm -hmm. yeah. video and then you want to see how they executed this live, right? Mm -hmm. So the deliver he delivery he has in the studio for this mm -hmm. feels like the live. I'm not suggesting lip syncing, obviously. I'm I'm talking about just the organic nature of everything. It just feels like this one take mm -hmm. connected flow in the studio. Yeah, because usually we're we're sort of we we generally gravitate towards the live just because we're we're kind of yeah. old school and we like the real authentic sound and sometimes you know like for as much as we appreciate a good production it's it's a little bit of a letdown when something's so perfect and sort of so mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. streamlined um so that speaks on in both ways to like how the fact that he can duplicate this live is amazing and the fact that he can record something that feels real and authentic and they and they capture it like the essence of who he is that's awesome it's one it's of the reasons why i listen to faint frank sinatra all the time i just oh, love yeah. that it was just recorded in the same room with the orchestra one, mm -hmm. one pass i just love that feeling and that's yeah. the feeling i get in this recording of this song and i feel yeah. like that's what's lacking in music now even though I, i'm not a now music hater don't get me wrong but I, I I love the old stuff because it's like mm -hmm. it's like warts and all. It's just like this is this is who they are. This is their performance. This was a moment captured in time, mm -hmm. and it's like and it wasn't perfect. But I will say, Dimash is pretty damn close to <laughs> being perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe even perfect. Maybe he's achieved it. I don't know. 
Yeah, I and honestly too, I, there's there's so many subtle little nuances, like little tiny things that he does differently in the recording than he does live, and I love hearing him. Uh, I playing with a song, like letting a song grow after it's been recorded, you know, and and mm-hmm. just working with it live without cool. abandoning what was yeah. captured in the studio because some artists do that too where they just get yeah. and it's easy to get Almost bored with the off. song and they're just like reinventing it but then as yeah, a listener yeah. you're like i can't sing along with this because i don't know <laughs> yeah, where you're yeah, going exactly. now yeah 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 very true that's a good point <laughs> out with it johnny i know you can't see everything with the the nature of how we're doing this but Mm -hmm. i'm trying to understand this the storyline in in this too Mm -hmm. so there's obviously the wings are being clipped and cut off but but who's doing that is that like is that the idea is just reflecting like the loss of like someone dying or well it seems like what's happening what i'm getting from the lyrics is i mean this couple that broke up and there's still feelings there it's like it's still sort of mm-hmm. something that's well, meant to be that for sure um uh, but yeah as far as the visual i don't know like maybe it's yeah. just something uncontrollable something you know like just out of their control that tore them apart in some way i'm not sure yeah and honestly i'm not sure either i don't think they ever really felt like a got an idea of like the source of where the this was coming from because there's like a whole lot of them that are kind of getting their wings cut off and yeah. just all this stuff is happening to them. I don't know who that, like, who was doing it, though. I don't think I ever found that out. But, yeah, if there's an answer, I definitely would love to know that, too. Mm-hmm. The vi- He is so good at making music videos that make you be like, I think this last one that we got is the most straightforward music video, probably. I would say I so. Know, but, but there's so many. He, he's really good at making just layers. thought-provoking videos. Layers, well, yeah. yeah. In, in, the, in the spirit of Michael Jackson, it's just like everything that he does is going to be top-notch. Mm-hmm. You know, every mm-hmm. element of his art. It just comes at the perspective, you know, thinking at it from every possible scenario. Yeah. And, Did I read somewhere that he's going to film school or, or something? Like he's oh, well. getting... I thought... I, hey, don't quote me on that. I thought I get... saw that. <laughs> He's like, I can't even, you know, there's like a triple threat of a person. They're just like good at like singing, dancing and different things. Like he, is, I don't Why even not know. They're going to have to come up with a new phrase. They got to yeah. come up no, with a new phrase. No, I have no doubt that he's going to be the greatest director in the world. <laughs> 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 just, that's just what he does. He you know? comes up with a whole new style of directing that's going to be called Dimash. You know? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so the couple swans have difficulties in fights. So they are tormented by their bad feelings or demons. Okay. So it's kind mm-hmm. of a nice you know, summary of what we're getting that the visual dramatics mm. from. And it's obviously a relationship back, you're looking back on a relationship and, and the, the longing, uh, maybe mm-hmm. some regret, things like that kind of mixed in mm-hmm. with it as well. So, oh, thank you, Alicia, okay. very much. Are, okay, are people still not able to hear John right now? A check, check, check. I wonder if it's because we have, maybe because you have live speakers versus earbuds i wonder if that's oh, causing like a noise cancellation issue or something oh yeah it could be that i can uh well yeah try the if you got earbuds i mean it 
Here, well, and, and while he changes, we have Shirley Jones to pop in and say hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes! We can't Your get enough of her. Beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> you have the most beautiful dance. Oh. She's okay, amazing. So I've got it swapped over. Let me know if that changes anything. I can try to rustle her up. I, I don't know. Sorry, John. We, we have two more minutes of this before we can show you again. Oh, you're cool. <laughs> well, listen, that's <laughs> amazing, y'all. <laughs> All right. So let's yeah. So let's see if that makes a difference or not. Let us know if you can I hear check, them a little check, bit check. better. Well, I guess while I'm doing a vocal check, I would like to say this. My first ever vocal teacher, Kelly Workman, uh, blew my mind whenever I brought her a song. She said. What do you want to? What type of music do you want to sing? So I brought her a song that had this intricate piano solo. It's called "I Won't See You Tonight," Part One from Avenged Sevenfold, and I played it for her. She made a couple of little quick notations, shredded the entire piano solo in front of me, and I was like, "Dang!" I must learn from you. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. and then, yes, so and that reminds me a lot of what Johnny's doing over here. Wait, Johnny over there. Yeah, yeah. so. Reminds so still only on the the Thank left you. ear is the, the oh, feedback no. we're getting. That's so bizarre. I wonder if it's on something to do with the setup on my end. I think it's so, the first for myself. I don't think I've ever recorded But you still like... hear Johnny on both sides, right? Mine and Johnny's feed is down the center. And just Oh no I'm hearing an echo, yeah. Oh, I am too. Well but, uh, but the echo's been there all along. That's why I thought they the earbuds would would end that oh it's yeah. not coming in the room anywhere is it hmm uh, not sure sound effect one two the echo has always been with us <laughs> it's been here the whole time <laughs> i'm just seeing if there's another option It's weird that we have some people that are saying we can hear them all, no issue. And okay. then some people are like. Yeah, sorry Hold about on. that. So I will check into, this is our first time doing a live with, with three people. So I will in post see if there's uh, something that we can prevent from happening in the future. So I appreciate your feedback and sorry for the inconvenience, of course. Okay. So, all right, let's keep can going I just here. say your chat is amazing? Oh, our subscribers are incredible. They're so fun. They're so great. They have gotten us out of a lot of trouble, like doing the wrong video and mispronouncing a million things. And yeah, the, oh the immediate feedback. Yes, we were doing recorded, you know, just you know the non lives, and then mm. we'd have to like sift through all the comments to, and then we just felt bad, like oh, I wish mm. we did it this way or whatever. Now they can just kind of steer us as we go, and it's just yeah, so it's awesome. very cool. <laughs> yes, this
there's just yeah. that. I love it. Go ahead, please. Man. No, I, I love it when we do two listens in a row because, I mean, it's, there's only so much you can digest from one time through. So, like, just having that second time, it's it's so helpful. It is. It. Yeah. Even this too, visually in the music, he always, always leaves you with an essence of hope, right? So in SOS mm -hmm. and Story of One Sky and in this, it's just like this long, there's always that feeling of it's going to get better. It's going to be okay. We can, Whether it's a collective, we can do this, or it's an internal reflection of something, there's always a positive element in, in the, in even in the heartbreak of yeah. his music, which I love that he does that. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, and, and visually, I'll have to go back and watch it. I encourage all of you to as well. <laughs> if you if you haven't seen it. I definitely need it, to see it. Yeah. yeah, go watch it a few times. I can just see there's so many things happening to just the eye candy. But when mm -hmm. you're hearing his music, it, you don't you don't need the music video. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's hard not to react to it, but you don't need it to react to yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that's one thing that I love about Dimash. It's kind of like there's that extra little, I don't know, like a really cool extra thing, a bonus to his music. Yeah. It's just the music videos that we do get. But it's his live performances are always something that I just like, as a vocalist, love studying and just love yeah. going back. It's incredible. It, it, yeah. Yeah, he's a master class. He's, a, he's the master of the master. We have, a, yeah. we have a little delay in visual and sound. Uh, John, say something yeah. for me. Uh, me, John? But there you go. Right, we're back. We're back. <laughs> just got a little weird for a second, but we're good. Nice. We're good. Uh, uh, can we talk about that that one? That high yes, note that's, uh, I was just about to pull up the piano. Uh, so uh, uh, that so it's an E six that he was hitting first with that sort of operatic, you know, clear head voice tone. It was E six. Yeah. So that had like it was so pure on that, just like so crystal. pure. And but he doesn't end there. So he takes that same note and then he hits it with that chest blend which is just mm -hmm. crazy it it had oh no actually no it was there and then i think it would have been the e5 right i think it was the same note no can you go back to that i mean I'm, i say no not as a challenge to dimash <laughs> but, but it's just it's unreasonable <laughs> so i have to go back let listen. me hear it again because i just want to make sure that i'm no, I think, it, but but this is insanely high to have a chest mix for 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 male anyway to have like a pure. Oh yeah, so I think it's the one above it because. Oh. All right, let, let's go listen to this. Gotta be this one. Wow. It's E5. It's okay. a, it's an E5. And but wow. but to your to your credit of confusion, it's so no, seriously, it yeah. there's such an like higher end harmonic and intensity yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. It feels more impactful than this it one. It does. Is. Yeah. It does. Yeah. But it is I that pitch it. with that that overtone. What an illusion. Yeah, that's so cool that you pointed that out because like the notes sound like it, it feels like it's coming from the same place, but it's just because of that like, how much power I think he's putting into it. So much it. intensity. So, yeah. But also where is he in the verses while well, we've got the piano up? Uh, so is that, <laughs> is that so this it's, one? It's a, it's a mere four octave range for this song. Uh, <laughs> just a mere four. <laughs> I mean just a slight four. Just so a slight to four. put that in perspective, in my peak <laughs> vocals, including the every once in a while whistle tone that that i would get usually only if i was sick and it was an accident mm -hmm. um mixed with my vocal fry this was my max like 
I'm not suggesting that I had skill over four octaves. I'm just saying like that is like the human like crazy moments that we we get this type of scenario mm-hmm. to have control and intention yeah. and emotional expression in that span is yeah. just he plays in that area which is oh, wild. Yeah. Just swims in the deep end all day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just yeah. crazy. Yeah. Man. Oh. I I am so excited for y'all to be going to Budapest. I I am so stoked for y'all to see this and like I I don't know. Are y'all gonna be Are you gonna be vlogging your experience? You're gonna do a vlog for your channel? As yes. Much uh, as possible, also, yeah. thank you, Zaren, for the super yeah. thanks. Um. Yeah. So our our intention mm-hmm. is to do kind of. Oh, and I didn't really. I I saw clips of yours, right? So obviously you filmed some mm-hmm. parts and then you put together something yeah. in post right so i don't mm-hmm. know what we could do for live streaming scenarios mm-hmm. it kind of depends on wi-fi cell service like we don't know what scenario we're going to go into but the plan is to yeah. record a lot and mm-hmm. we have the advantage of there's two of us versus one so it's a little bit easier yeah. like we could take turns we're like i imagine it's more cumbersome for you to like film yeah. yourself as you're walking around hong kong <laughs> Yeah, well, man, I think it was fun because, like, my camera turned into a little travel buddy, you know what I mean? So I was, like, not lonely. I was like, what up? How are we doing? Blah, blah, blah. But that's one great. thing that I, I, I found, like, especially at like, concerts, y'all probably already know this, but, like, for me recording, instead of – because there were so many people that were doing this. They were like, Wah. yeah. It was, like, having their camera over their head. And I've learned to just do this number. Boop. Not obstructing anyone's view, and also yes. it's like a stabilizer kind of, you know. And yes. so, right. and it's not obstructing my view. I'm able to like see everything. So, if there's any videos that of the concert or anything that I took, it was like me doing this right here and just watching the concert. That way, I, it's like, yeah. You know, well, Johnny said it. the only video he's going to take is he's going to try to capture me crying. So that yes. he has his plan. <laughs> yes. Wait. So. Uh, wh- <laughs> What uh? What song hits you? If for sure, if you hear it, it's gonna hit you. Do you have one that well, you're nervous oh, about? Goodness. It's, I mean, it's the thing is, is that when he has like impactful moments, like the one we just heard mm-hmm. live, like that's going to because this is a different scenario when you're reacting because there's there's on mm-hmm. some level there's that awareness of like okay people are watching and every once in a while yeah. you know we get lost, but in that moment I just. I, I don't plan to record. My thought is, mm-hmm. is that, like you just said, everybody else is going to be recorded. So we could probably yeah. pull some clips from somebody else's mm-hmm. fan cam and mm-hmm. use that so we can just be in that experience. And yeah, it's like yeah. that scene from Almost Famous, right? Where he starts to write down the notes from, you know, the, 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 the <laughs> yeah. journalist. And she's like, no, don't do it. Take it in. Pull <laughs> yes. it. That's Stay what we want to do. So 100%. we're we're going to vlog from Munich on or just even when we, mm-hmm. when we leave the States. And we're just going to like try to share the whole journey as much as we can and, yeah. and just, you know, for lack of a better term, take the deers with us, you know, for those who can't yeah. be there and try to have that experience and everybody we're going to meet. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people are suggesting too, that we attempt to give him a rose to, to Dude, follow yes. suit. Do it. But I don't know. I mean, you had amazing seats. So we're, I, I don't know that we're going to have that type of access at this show. This arena is just know. looks crazy. Yeah, that's a good but, question. But I will say, like, uh, I was kind of nervous for, and this is anybody, anybody that's ever like, I really want to give it to Masha Rose. How am I going to do it? Like, I was terrified to do it. I have really bad social anxiety. So whenever, like, uh, whenever I went up to go up to do it, I was like, oh, gosh, I'm going to throw up or something. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but <laughs> it was so cool. And I did it right after, uh, it was, I think it was the story of one guy. I literally, I had, like, tears in my eyes because after that, I was like, there's no way I'm not doing this. I'm getting up. He deserves a rose here. Right. And uh, and I saw somebody else give him a rose or like a bouquet of roses. And I'm like, I'm just going to Mr. Freaking single rose here. So he's probably going to be like, what is this or something? But he was so cool about it. And That's awesome. there's moments after uh, after songs where it's kind of a pause and somebody will most likely get up and give him a rose. You have a moment there. Because he's not going to just go right into the next song. Band's not going to start playing. You're going to be like walking halfway down the aisle with roses and be like, whoa, I'll just walk back. It won't be awkward. Like it was, it was very, it felt welcoming to do that. So, wow. Okay. That's what I will say. Don't be nervous. Awesome. Any well, deers out there, don't be nervous either. We will be Cipuana, terrified. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. Uh, Cipuana, Cipuana? I, I agree. I should write him a song and put it yes. in the rose. Dude, you got uh, it. I I don't know where I don't have one on me, but uh, <laughs> I have little cards that I was handing out because like I, I'm doing a lot of um, 
vlogs for concerts. I go out to a lot of concerts and I oh, meet a cool. lot of people that are either like, oh, I know your channel or or something. So I've gotten little cards now that have little uh, QR codes and I stuck one of my cards with a QR Smart. code in the rose. And if you look, there's a picture of Dimash smelling my rose in my QR code in like my <laughs> John Reeves live YouTube thing. So it's like right in the front of it. I was like, I can't believe it. I felt like such a doofus for doing it, but it, I was like, well, it's there. It's there. So it's it's out in the world. See who comes back from it. Oh, I think that's yeah. great. That's yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. It was, it was well, cool. thank you everybody for joining us today. We told John in advance. Oh, it'll be like twenty to thirty minutes. We're just going to do a single song. <laughs> yeah. We know I don't her. know why. Even we've since we switched over to live, we we basically gone full on like podcast mode. <laughs> it's like, like an it. hour minimum. It's been fun, man. I, I it's love it. It's been amazing. Very cool conversation. But thank you guys. for joining us. Thank you for being here and sharing your story and sharing the Dude, love. Pleasure, man. And uh, thank you everybody for encouraging us to, to, you know, introducing us to John uh, to begin with. So this is this is awesome. So thank so you, fun, man. man. Yeah. Likewise, I'm, thank you I'm very kind much of for feeling. Me. I'm kind of feeling the movie night, watching yes. the thing, like that. You got to see it. It's like it's <laughs> that an experience. Could be fun. Just it's totally experience. off, like off. Uh, <laughs> topic experience you know yeah. well, maybe we'll give that a go I'm in so you guys are in. be sure to check out the links below to go to john reeve's channel if you haven't already the link we have there goes to his actual like a longer full vlog story oh, okay. of uh yes. his connection to dimash and then obviously you'll be on his channel at that point so be sure to, to like and subscribe to him as well if you haven't already and here if you get a chance or just go to john he's cool that's it's all good it's all love and <laughs> I think that's it for today. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And I'm just going to... Johnny, you want to play us out with something fun? And I am going to put our outro well, on here. One of the comments said, just oh, let it be. Oh, nice. Well, there you go. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for joining. Have an amazing day. Thank you, Olga, for the super thanks. And we will see you soon. And also, Leo... Ah, Leo... Sut Johnny, how do you say okay, that? Okay, sorry. Oh, I it's, I don't see it yet. I'm Leo. Thank you, Leo. <laughs> I'm going with Leo. the first three letters. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to run with it. We will see you again soon for week three of our countdown to Budapest. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Thanks so much. Bye.